Welcome everybody to this CUBE conversation. My name is Dave Vellante, and we're here to talk about object storage and the momentum in the space, and what Dell Technologies is doing to compete in this market. I'm joined today by Anahad Dillon, who's the product manager for Dell EMC's ECS and new object scale products. Anahad, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you. Thank, thank you so much, Dave. We appreciate you having me and Dell here, thanks. That's always a pleasure to have you guys on. We dig into the products, talk about the trends, talk about what customers are doing. Anahad, before the cloud, you know, object was this kind of a niche. It was seen in, you know, you had simple get put. It was a low cost bit bucket, essentially. But that's changing. Tell us some of the trends in the object storage market that you're observing and how Dell Technology sees this space evolving in the future, please. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you hit it right on, right? Historically, object storage was considered this cheap and deep place, right? Customers would use this for their backup data, archive data. So cheap and deep, no longer the case, right? As you pointed out, the object space is now maturing. It's a mature market. now, And we're seeing out there customers using object for their primary data. So for their business critical data. So we're seeing, you know, big data analytics type of use cases. So it's no longer just cheap and deep. Now they're, you know, primary workloads and, you know, business critical workloads being put on, put on object storage now. Yeah, I mean, and we're, Go ahead, please. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, you, there's, there's not only the, the extent of the, the, the workload being put in, we're also seeing changes in how object storage is being deployed. So now we're seeing a tighter integration with new dev models where, you know, object storage or any storage in general is being deployed, how applications are being deployed, right? So customers now want object storage or storage in general being orchestrated like they would orchestrate their, their customer applications. Those are the, you know few key trends that we're seeing out there today. So I want to dig into this a little bit with you because you're right, it used to be, it was cheap and deep, it was slow and it required sometimes application changes to you know, accommodate. But so you mentioned a few of the trends, uh, devs, you know, everybody's trying to inject AI into the, their applications. The world has gone software defined. What are you doing to respond to all these, these changes and these trends? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so we've been making tweaks to our object offering, the ECS, Elastic Cloud Storage, you know, for a while. Uh, we started off tweaking the software itself, optimizing it for performance use cases. Um, in 2020, early 2020, we actually introduced SSDs to our nodes. Uh, so customers were able to go in, you know, leverage these SSDs for metadata caching, improving their performance quite a bit. Um, we use these SSDs for metadata caching. So the impact on the performance improvement was focused on you know, smaller reads and writes. What we did now is you know, a game changer. We actually went ahead later in 2020, introduced an all flash appliance. So now EXF 900 and ECS all flash appliance it's all NVMe based. So it's NVMe SSDs and we leverage NVMe over fabric for the backend connector. So we did it the right way, Dave. We didn't just go in and qualified an SSD based server and ran object storage on it. We invested time and effort into supporting NVMe over fabric so we could give you that, that performance at scale. My right? object is known for scale. We're not talking you know, 10, 12 nodes here. We're talking hundreds of nodes. And to provide you that kind of the performance, we went ahead. Now you've got an NVMe based offering EXF 900 that you can deploy with confidence, run your primary workloads that require high throughput and low latency. We also are releasing our next gen SDS offering. Right? This takes the proven ECS code that our you know, customers are familiar with it provides the resiliency and, and the security that you guys expect from, from Dell. And we're replatforming it to run on Kubernetes and be orchestrated by Kubernetes. This is what you, we announced that VMware 2021. If you guys haven't seen that, it is going to go on demand for VMware uh, 2021, search for object scale and, and you know, get a quick demo on that. Um, with object scale now, Customers can quickly deploy enterprise grade 
object storage on their existing environment, their existing infrastructure, things like VMware, infrastructure like VMware and infrastructure like OpenShift. And I'll give you an example. So if you're a VMware shop, you've got vSphere clusters in your data center. With object scale, you'll be able to quickly deploy up your object, enterprise grade object offering from within vSphere. Or if you're an OpenShift um, customer, right? If you've got OpenShift deployed in your data center, in your, in your Red Hat shop, you could easily go in, use that same infrastructure that your applications are running on, deploy object scale on top of your OpenShift infrastructure and make available object storage to your, to your customers. So you've got the enterprise grade ECS appliance for your high throughput, low latency use cases at scale. And you've got this software defined object scale, which can deploy on your existing infrastructure, whether that's VMware or Red Hat OpenShift. Okay, so I got a lot of follow-up questions, but let me just go back to one of the earlier things you said. So you, it, object was going to cheap, deep, and, and, and slow, but scale. And so your, your step one was metadata caching. Now, of course, the, but my understanding is with object, the metadata and the da data are within the object. So, so I don't know, maybe you separated that and made it high performance, but now you've taken the next step to bring in NVMe infrastructure to really blow away all the old sort of SCSI latency and all that stuff. Maybe you could just educate us a little bit on that, if you don't mind. Absolutely, yeah, that, that was exactly the stepped approach that we took. Um, even though metadata is tightly integrated with object, you know, in, in object world, in order to read the actual data, you still got to get to that metadata first, right? So we would cache that metadata into SSDs, you know, reducing that lookup that happens for that metadata, right? And, and that's why it gave you the, the performance benefit, but because it was just tied to metadata lookups, uh, the performance for larger objects stayed the same because the actual data read was still happening from the hard drives, right? With the new EXF 900, which is all NVMe based, we've optimized the, our ECS object code to leverage NVMe, data sitting on NVMe drives, the internode connectivity, the, the, the communication is NVMe over fabric. So it's through and through NVMe. Now we're talking, you know, milliseconds in latency and, and you know, thousands and thousands of, you know, transactions per second. Got it. Okay, so this is really an inflection point for, for objects. So these are pretty interesting times at, at Dell. You got the cloud expanding on-prem, your, 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 your company's building cloud-like capabilities to connect on-prem to the cloud, across cloud, you're going out to the edge. As it pertains to object storage though, it sounds like you're taking a sort of a two product approach to your strategy. Why is that? And, and can you talk about the go-to-market strategy in that regard? Absolutely, and yeah, no good, good observation there. Um, so yes and no. Uh, so we, we continue to invest in ECS. ECS continues to stay the product of choice uh, when customer wants that traditional appliance deployment model. But this is the you know, this is a single you know, hand to shake model where you know, everything from your hardware to your software, the, the object solution software is all provided by Dell. Uh, ECS continues to be the product where customers are looking for that uh, you know, high performance, fine tuned, uh, you know, appliance use case. Object scale comes into play when you know, the needs are software defined, when you need to deploy the, the storage solution uh, on, on top of the same infrastructure that your applications are running, right? So yes, in the short term, in the interim, it's a two product approach, but both products taking, you know, a, a very distinct use case. However, in the long term, uh, we're merging the two cold streams. So in the long term, if you're an ECS customer and, and you're, you're running ECS, you will have an in-place data upgrade to object scale. Right? So we're not talking about no you know, forklift upgrades. We're not talking about you're adding additional servers and do a data migration. It's a code upgrade. Right? And then I'll give you an example. Today on ECS, we're, we're at code version 3.6. So if you're a customer running ECS, ECS 3.x in the future, right? So we've got, you know, got a roadmap where 3.7 is coming out later on this year. So on, from 3.x, 
customers will upgrade the code data in place to let's call it 4.0, right? And that brings them up to object scale. So there's no nodes left behind. There's an in-place code upgrade from, from ECS to object scale, merging the two code streams. So in the long-term, single code, short-term, two, two products, for both so solving the very distinct use case. Okay, let me follow up, put on my customer hat. Um, and, and I'm hearing that you can tell us with confidence that irrespective of whether a customer invests in ECS or object scale, you're not going to put me into a, a dead end. Every customer is going to have a path forward as long as their ECS code is up to date. Is that correct? Absolutely, exactly. And very well put. Yes, no nodes left behind. Uh, investment protection, whether you've got ECS today or you want to invest into ECS or object scale in the Correct. Talk a little bit more about object scale. I'm interested in kind of what's new there, what's special about this product. Is there unique functionality that you're adding to the product? What, what differentiates it from other object stores? Absolutely, my pleasure. Yeah, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll start by reiterating that object scale, it, it's built on that proven ECS code, right? It's the enterprise grade reliability and security that our customers expect from, from Dell EMC, right? Now we are re-platforming ECS to allow object scale to be Kubernetes native, right? So we're, we're leveraging that microservices based architecture, leveraging that native orchestration capabilities uh, of Kubernetes, um, you know, things like, um, you know, resource isolation or, um, you know, seam, seamless heat or self-healing, I'm, I'm sorry, load balancing and, and things like that, right? So the inbuilt native capabilities of, uh, of Kubernetes. Object scale is also, um, you know, built with scale in mind, right? So it delivers lim limitless scale. So you could start with terabytes um, and then go up to petabytes and beyond. So unlike other file system based object offerings, Object scale software won't have a limit on your know, number of object stores, number of buckets, number of objects you store. I mean, it's limitless. As long as you can provide the hardware resources under the covers, the software itself is limitless. It allows our customers to start small. So you could small, you could start as, as small as you know, three nodes and grow their environment as your business grows, right? Hundreds of nodes. Uh, with object scale, you can deploy workloads, uh, you know, at public cloud-like scale, but with the reliability and control of a private cloud data, right? So it's, it's in your own data center. Um, and object scale is S3 compliant, right? So while delivering the enterprise features like global replication, you know, native multi-tenancy, fueling everything from, you know, dev test sandbox to globally distributed data lakes, right? So you've got, you know, inbuilt object scale replication, that allows you to place your data anywhere you've got object scale footprint, from edge to core to data center. Okay, so it fits into the Kubernetes world. I call it, you know, Kubernetes compatible. You know, the key there is, is automation because that's the whole point of containers, is right? It allows you to deploy as many apps as you need to, wherever you need to, uh, in, in as many instances, and then do rolling updates, have the same security, same API all that level of consistency. So that's, that's really important. That's how modern apps are, are being developed. Um, we're, we're in a new age here. It's no longer about the machines. It's about infrastructure as code. So once object scale is generally available, which I think is soon, it's, I, think, I think it's this year, what should customers do? What's, what's their next step? Um, reach out to your Dell representatives, right? get an in-depth in -depth demo uh, on object scale, better yet, you know, get a POC, right? Get a proof of concept, have it, you know, set up in your data center and play with it. Um, you can also download the, the, the free full featured community edition. We're going to have a community edition that's, that's free up to 30 terabytes of usage. It's full featured. Download that, play with it. If you like it, you can upgrade that, that free community edition to a licensed paid version. And you said that's full featured. You're not neutering the community edition. Exactly. Absolutely. It's it's full feature. Nice. That's a great strategy. We're, we're confident. We're confident in what we're delivering, and we want you guys to play with it without without having you know your money tied up. 
I said, I mean, that's the model today. You know, gone are the days where you got to get you know, customers in a headlock to get them to, you know, tr they want to try before they buy. So that's that's a great little feature. Anahad, thanks so much for, for joining us on theCUBE. Sounds like it's been a very busy year and uh, it's going to continue to be so. Look forward to see what's coming out with uh, ECS and, and object scale and seeing those two worlds come together. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. All right, and thank you for watching this CUBE conversation. This is Dave Vellante, we'll see you next time.